Okay, so hello. I'm joined in the studio by Mr. Connor Hand and on the phone, James McKenzie, who, if you don't know the name, I'm first of all shocked, but second of all, he You should was, know the name. You should really know the name. He is the actor from the CBBC show of our childhood, Raven. Thank you for joining us, James. Audio. The way of the- oh my god, he said, he said the thing, he said oh, the thing. We're getting, these, we're getting the sound bites out there. Already in there, already in there. I think Excellent. it's also worth just saying before we get into the interview, for those of you that didn't watch Raven, firstly, what were you doing with your lives? Exactly. They must have, been, you- must have been living abroad, maybe somewhere that didn't receive Raven. What was and your child? Secondly, really? the best way to describe it is the Americans did a remake of Raven like over the last few years and called it Game of Thrones. <laughs> And yeah. that's achieved tremendous success, and that's all based off Raven. Yeah, it was, it was really just piggybacking <laughs> on your work, I'd say. Well, I, I like to tell people that I had the feathers before Jon Snow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, my goodness. Well, I guess, first of all, we'll kick it off with what are you working on at the moment? Where can we next see you on TV, on in movies? Uh, let me think. The next place you can probably probably see me would be... Uh, in pantomime. Oh, in pantomime. But only if only if you're uh, living north of the border, um, because I am doing pantomime in Dundee this year. So wow. it's highly unlikely that many of your students, if at all, any of your fellow students, will indeed be in the Dundee area. Well, what, you what never pantomime? Know. What pantomime are you in, James? It's Sleeping Beauty. And before you ask, no, I'm not playing Beauty. Oh, <laughs> wow. That is slightly disappointing. Yeah. But, uh, they yeah, clearly I'm, I'm haven't very, done I'm the casting very well, James. No, no, no. no <laughs> a, bearded, a bearded beauty. I, I think that might be something else. But anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, no, I am... Uh, I'm, yes, it's Sleeping Beauty, and I'm, I'm playing Beauty's dad. Which uh, is a bit strange, because normally in pantomime, you know, Cinderella's dad or Beauty's dad is played by a 60-plus-year-old man, and... You know, I am. You know, time has moved on since Raven, but I am still only. <laughs> I am only 38, so I'm hoping that they are going to be uh, making some reference into this in the script about me being a very handsome and very young father. <laughs> it's more, I guess, they're just going for your experience uh, rather than yeah. age. I think that's nice. the key. Yes. Nice touch. I see what you did there. I like that. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Excellent, Connor. Right. Our uh, our next question is what was the most ludicrous or bizarre challenge that the kids on Raven had to perform? Which one sticks out in your mind? Ludicrous? Oh, that's yeah. a difficult one. <laughs> that's um, a difficult one. <laughs> but you know, I've never been asked that question before, so... We, uh, we heard it here to, first. We're off to a good start, you, then. You heard, you heard it here first. I'm not quite sure if I have an answer for that, actually, because, I mean, obviously, without sounding too biased, the, the, I would say all of the challenges, or pretty, pretty much most of the challenges on Raven were, were developed, you know, for a reason, and, and to, to kind of test the young warriors and, to, and to, to be seen to be doing something different, you know, to see a to create a challenge that hadn't been seen on Raven before or was, that was coming back mm. because it was so good or so popular. So I don't think they were, any of them were ludicrous. I mean, overall, I suppose you could call it slightly ludicrous. I mean, we did throw uh, young children into uh, deep locks and make them, <laughs> you know, make them swim through rapid white water mm. or to jump out of trees 30, 40 foot in the air. So, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that could be seen as ludicrous. I mean, if you, if um, you tried to pitch that show today, I think it or just, you know, without the context of Raven, it would be quite quite a hard sell, I, I imagine. Maybe we've picked well, I the wrong so, one. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, obviously, things, you know, health and safety rules and things have, have moved on slightly. But, you know, we it, it is still possible. But yes, I mean, it is. You did have things like Total Wipeout and all that that came along um, after after Raven, um, but you know they 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 weren't really trying to do it in a kind of um, dramatic setting and you know to set it in mm. some kind of medieval mythical land, whereas that's what Raven was doing. So yes, yeah, so I think the long-winded answer is I don't think anything was too ludicrous. I can see what you're kind of saying, but no, I, no, no, there wasn't. Okay, anything. okay, no. fair enough. Fair Sorry. enough. That's, that's fine. That's, James, it's okay. I, I'm talking okay. to Raven. I have a lot of time. I have a lot of sympathy. It's fine. Listen, we'll only, we'll only remove one feather from your standard. And we'll, oh. we'll that, okay? Do I lose any feathers, James? 
so far so good only one of us Very will make good. it to the end of the interview yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll make it disappear yeah okay. send oh, the God. demons on us oh dear <laughs> yeah. so obviously I think it's any kid watching uh, the show it's kind of their dream to be on the show but we were, we were speaking about this yesterday me and Connor we're not sure like did they have to go through trials just to like get on the show was there like a, an obstacle course or was it like camera testing what do you have any details you can say on like those um, of us who missed was it, out it was on a kind it? of it was kind of a bit of all of that really uh, I mean there, there were in inverted commas there were auditions I mean it, basically what happened was the young warriors or the, the the potential young warriors would write in fill in an application form and send it off and then those applications would be whittled down and then, then they would kind of, uh, the producers, etc., would travel all over the country meeting uh, groups of, of, of young people who'd applied. And they would kind of be set tasks and games and things in a kind of, you know, indoor safe environment, mm-hmm. you know, game, you know, kind of group challenges and individual challenges, you know, ma- mainly kind of mental stuff and, 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 and things that would kind of be, allow them to interact with each other just to see how they how they would fare in a solo situation or, or, or as part of, of a team um, and then from there that was whittled down to <clears throat> a smaller number who were then taken away to an actual um, outdoor activity centre uh, in Scotland and they were kind of um, put through some paces there you know involving kind of the, the far more physical elements of Raven yeah. you know, which included swimming through cold locks and climbing up through waterfalls and you know jumping out of trees and seeing how they are with heights and things like that so there was a there was a kind of there was a sensible selection to it if you know what I mean yeah. Um, so yeah I mean they, they, they were but, but at no point the, the most important thing to, to add is that at no point were they chosen because they were um, you know they looked like they would be good on screen or that they would be you know a good actor or anything like that because was, that wasn't what it was about you know it was about yeah. they were there to, to take part in the challenges so Okay. Yeah, it was. It was. It was never about you know becoming a star or playing a part. I'm glad you brought up challenges there, James, because our next question involves perhaps the most famous challenge of all on Raven, the Way of the Warrior, which the was the, Warrior, yes. which was the one that was designed at the end of each show to eliminate one of the one of the kids effectively from the show. Yeah. And our question is: Did you yourself ever take on the Way of the Warrior? And if so, how did it go? <laughs> Uh, yes, I did take on the way of the warrior. Um, at this point, I would like to, to to add that it was after hours, and that the, the it was no longer being staffed by the normal resident demons. Uh, okay. It was in fact being operated and staffed by my fellow um, production and camera crew, who, <laughs> who, who had it in for me essentially. Uh, and so I only made it halfway until they uh, until they wiped me out. Yes, but they did make it uh, probably about twenty times harder than <laughs> than it was than it ever was for the for the warriors to take part in. I think I think a lot of the machinery was moving far quicker and with a little bit more force <laughs> than might have been seen for uh, for the under kind of 15 yeah you yeah. paint it as a picture yeah. as though your production staff i don't know didn't like you was that the case or oh no they, 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 we all got on very well but i just thought they they would i think they just thought they would have a bit of fun <laughs> so yeah you know i did they know did they I know, did they know who laugh. they were dealing with james because it doesn't seem to me like they did no, well i mean don't you know <laughs> i think i'm not no exactly no they, they didn't know um so yeah no i i, I failed halfway oh, uh, yeah i didn't oh. i didn't get any further than i didn't get any further actually than than yeah than halfway where, where there was a where the, the warriors used to have to to swing a skull and it wouldn't yes. would kind of bash on this plate and then mm-hmm. a drawbridge would drop, drop down i got to there and then and then they had me with the shields oh, on the side of the doors i say but that, to be fair that is a point where a lot of warriors were were, were, were um were, were taken down as well so i didn't feel too bad <laughs> but, um, I think I had more. I think I had more bruises than needed. <laughs> <laughs> Just a follow up to that, James. Mm. Was the way of the warrior designed to kind of condition our generation for what it's going to be like to get a mortgage and the jobs market? <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking back with hindsight, very possibly, yes, or yeah, or what it's like to yes to to to, to uh, go through a job interview or uh, yeah get on the property ladder or uh, buy your first car, yes, very possibly, yeah, yeah. I think I think it was a good a good uh, character building yeah <laughs> um, challenge for the future. Yes, life is tough, young warrior. <laughs> <laughs> so if you could do, I say, a spin-off or a special episode of Raven, like now. But with current celebrities, or just any celebrity, any famous person, who would you have on the show? Wow, that's quite difficult. Because um, 
there was lots of, lots of talk during the time of Raven actually of, of, of getting an adult version going and I think at one point that we were very close to, to, to making one for comic relief oh, but, uh, I think yeah. it was I think at the time it was um, in the kind of you know, uh, kind of early 2000s. So I think the the celebrities at the time, I think their schedules were all a bit too booked, mm-hmm. um, booked up. But uh, who would I like to do it now? Oh, wow. Um, oh, I'd love to throw Piers Morgan in there. <laughs> That'd be great, um, Piers Morgan, Katie Hopkins. I'm sure we could do a bit of damage to them. I, mean, of course, I couldn't. I couldn't possibly. I couldn't possibly condone uh, condone that. They they would of course be wearing all the appropriate safety gear. Of course. Um, of course. <laughs> yeah, Piers Morgan and Katie Hopkins. I could I could quite happily put them through the way of the warrior. Um, <laughs> let me think. Let me think. Uh, I'd like to see some some of our kind of current uh, um, sports stars or even Paralympians. That would be cool because yeah. uh, they would probably make very light work of it. Actually, <laughs> in fact, I'd like to see a Paralympian against Piers Morgan, and then we could all cheer with glee when the Paralympian um, triumphed and Piers Morgan was taken <laughs> down. That might be quite. That, that would be, be that, such that a sight. Yeah. That would be such yeah. a great thing for comic relief to take Piers Morgan yeah. down a peg or two excellent <laughs> yes, I think so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah I mean I, I think I, I would love to do I'd love to do an adult version of, of, of Raven I think it would be well, I hasten to add an adult version as I mean not not X-rated I mean <laughs> a, version, a version involving a version involving um, uh, the, the over 21 yeah, adults I'm sure, I'm sure but not adult version I'm sure if you looked yeah. in, I'm sure if you looked in the right places you could already <laughs> find an adult version to be honest Oh I, 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 oh I would, I would, I would not like to look, and uh, I certainly could, I certainly not could not condone that sort of behaviour. Oh um, you might say that I couldn't possibly comment. That's the diplomatic <laughs> answer. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I have, I have worked, I have worked on and off for the BBC. So, so yeah, of course, of course, <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> what, um, what we'd like to do now is a little, a little challenge. Okay, mm-hmm. so myself and Jonathan were avid Raven fans when we were younger, right. and before every challenge. You would have a certain line, which is uh, let the challenge begin. Could you? Indeed. Could you give us a little um, insight into to how it's done? Like, just quickly say it. Yes, I can indeed. Greetings, young warriors. Let the challenge begin. That's iconic. Excellent. So okay. what, what we wanted to do Ooh. is we wanted to see which one of us could best recreate your, uh, I don't want to call it a catchphrase, but that's it. That's saying. fine. Yeah, I, think, I think catchphrase is probably very suited. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, go with catchphrase. Yeah. Catchphrase, yeah. So I'm, uh, I'll go first and then Connor's going to go and we'd like you to decide okay. who has the best. Apologies. Okay, so Johnny, for any... first, Johnny, Johnny first and Connor second. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Apologies for any <laughs> cultural insensitivities with the, <laughs> the accent. It's probably not going to be perfect. <laughs> Perfect, but um, okay, here I go. Okay, right, okay, Johnny. Let the challenge begin. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, that's uh, Johnny's I'll, res- I'll reserve. I'll reserve judgment. Okay, please okay. do till the end. Yeah. <laughs> right. Greetings, okay, young warriors. Let the challenge begin. Well, first of all, I'll say both of them are actually pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, was, that gives me a warm, fuzzy you're, feeling. You're setting me up yeah. for a fall, James. I'm not, no, oh. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I mean, you know, it, 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 it did sound vaguely like you were trying to do a, an impression of Taggart, <laughs> which, most, which most people do when they try and do a Scots accent. But no, it sounded pretty good. It sounded pretty good. It was. I think. I think you just needed to be a bit deeper. That was all. Just a bit butcher, okay. really. Just a bit I'll, butcher. I'll but work on that. Listen, I'll work out on of that. 10 out of 10 I would say both of you would be six. I would say both are you know. six. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a two one. Six, which is oh, yeah. which is yeah, two which one. is encouraging. You know, it's it's, it's it's you know it's 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 um, great work, but could do better. You know. But which one? But it's not, the, it's which not one red, of the two? There's no red pen. There's no red pen. See me after class. <laughs> <laughs> which one out of the two, James? You're leaving us on tender hooks here. <laughs> yeah, you're both. You're both in detention. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've we've you know we've been on the internet. We're doing our research. We've been yes. there's been a uh, I guess little bits of hinting that there might be a new season or a new version of Raven, a new incarnation. Without yes. uh, obviously setting the demons on us, what can you mm. reveal? Uh, well, I can reveal. Uh, I 
can reveal a, a fair amount. Uh, uh, as I said in a tweet that I did put out a wee while ago, the rumours are true. Uh, Raven is back, and uh, and That's also so am I. But yes, there is there is uh, the BBC have uh, recommissioned two brand new series of Ooh. of Raven. That's the best um, news I've had all year. Yeah, this it's it's, well, it's fantastic news. I mean, it's after after seven years, so it's 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 backed by popular demand, which is which is really really exciting. Um, you yeah, because there's still a, a, a lot of love out there for Raven. There's a huge following. Definitely. Um, but yes, the BBC, so the BBC have what I can tell you officially is that the BBC have recommissioned two brand new series, and um, a, a large proportion of which has been shot over this summer. Um, I am in fact donning my feathers and leather mm. uh, in about two, three weeks time oh, wow. uh, and I will be I will be filming uh, my my um, my bits to, to, to go into to, to both series so yeah I'll be filming with uh, with my with a new co-host uh, or the new host of Raven uh, a lovely actress called Aisha Toussaint who I used to work with um, on the BBC Scotland uh, soap opera called River City uh, so she is going to be uh, the female representation for, for the new series of Raven and uh, yeah this old black bird will be uh, will be kicking on his feathers and, uh, and, 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 and also being part of it which I'm um, which I'm absolutely delighted about. I, uh, I think it would have been rather strange for it to have come back and if you not to have had the original Raven in there. Oh, definitely. Some, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't way, have been, shape or form. It wouldn't you know? have been the show, would it, really? It would just be... No. Be I mean, the, the, great yeah. thing, the great thing about it is that there's going to be a lot of... Uh, there's going to be... It's going to be very, very true to the old, to, to, to what came before. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of similarities... Some some bringing back of some old stuff, some fantastic new uh, challenges and games going in there. Um, yeah, and also you know, I mean, uh, let's not lie. Uh, Technologies have moved on in seven years, and some of the some of the visual things effects, are going to be able to. Maybe. Yeah, the visual effects and, and the way in which the new series is going to be shot are going to be fantastic. You know, with you know, with the advent of things like GoPro cameras and drones and things like that. So there's going to be. I think it's going to be very very exciting. I've seen a couple of little um, uh, teasers and testers and stuff like that, and it, yeah, it looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm I mean I'm I'm very I'm delighted that it's that it's back. Um, there was a time where I didn't think that was that that would happen, maybe. But uh, you know, and there's been so much support as well, which has been amazing. I mean, I I put it out on Twitter, I think, about two or three months ago that it was coming back, and over you know, in about forty eight hours, twenty thousand people had liked it. You know, I'd had like ten thousand retweets, and and which was phenomenal. You know, I I. I the love, the love and support that's still out there for Raven was, uh, yeah, it kind of blew me away to be honest. Well, you've uh, definitely got the was, love and support brilliant. here as well, you so do. we're oh, very well, excited. Very, very cool. We we were the envy of campus when we, yeah. when news started to spread that we had Raven himself on the end <laughs> on air. Yeah, so, that sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not weird. Don't I worry. would like, I would like to at this, at this point, I would like to categorically deny that you've not had me on here. <laughs> you couldn't uh, let me go away, get away with that one. Come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna what save that little si- sound sound bite, and I'm gonna keep that just for me. Yeah. yeah. Just for you. yeah. yeah. So I don't know how, I don't know how broadcastable that will be. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what Ofcom has to say. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so voiceover has become a huge part of many reality TV shows. So I guess the first question we'd have to put to you on this particular subject would be, which reality TV show would you like to be a voiceover on? So you've got the likes of Big Brother, Love Island, etc. And then on, the, on this given show, do you feel there's room to put in some Raven challenges? We're basically, at the point we're getting at, will there be a Raven challenge in the next Love Island? Yes, that's pretty much what we want to hear <laughs> well uh i'd like i'd love to think there would be because it would kind of you know put raven out there to an even bigger audience um the likelihood though i'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure is, is, is slim uh, i'm not gonna lie I've, I've never watched love island it's not really something that's ticked my boxes um but in terms of what reality program would i like to, to voice voice over 
see, I think I would rather like to voice over something like "Come Down with Me" or something like <laughs> that because uh, because the fun that can be had with that is is pretty is pretty epic. Although the guy that does it, Dave Lamb, is is pretty um, irreplaceable, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> and also, isn't I, I'm pretty sure Love Island is is uh, already voiced by a Scot. Mm-hmm. It's voiced by um, Ian. Uh, oh my goodness, I've got a second name now. He used to do a lot of presenting on CBBC. Well, he's got stand-up comedian. <laughs> so I, I, I couldn't, I can't, I can't steal his job. No. Um, but yes, uh, probably something like "Come Down with Me." Um, yeah. Although I came across a, I came across not a, a, a kind of reality program, but there was a Channel Four um, program I came across the other day called "Naked Attraction." Have you ever seen this? Yes. Yes. I, oh my bizarre. goodness! Bizarre. Absolutely oh goodness, bizarre. That <laughs> totally freaked me out. Oh totally my goodness! Oh, that we yeah. definitely can't talk about. <laughs> uh, that's, no, we that's can't talk about that. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Okay, so move on. Moving swiftly. Okay. Yes. Yes. This this next one. Okay. Bit of a scenario. You you've been to the supermarket. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've driven home. Bags. You know. You got you got to walk to the back to the house with your bags. You got to carry them. But you decide one trip. You're gonna do it in one trip. Mm-hmm. Do you ever whisper to yourself? Let the challenge begin before you do something <laughs> difficult. It's amazing how I mean, you know. It's amazing how it kind of creeps into it can creep into your everyday life, and then you realise you, you've said it, and then you think, oh, does that make me sound really kind of narcissistic? <laughs> do, I, do I sound really stupid because I've said my own catchphrase to myself? <laughs> if I'm honest, I've only ever said it. I've only ever said it accidentally, or like maybe like I've got a I've got a two year old son, and um, so you like if he's playing with some of his pals, it might be you know we might I might kind of put out some some things for them to play with or whatever and, and you kind of inadvertently might say let the challenge begin but it's kind of <laughs> yeah you, you, you kind of, I, I kind of say it without realising it really yes yes so it, it, it would it would not be beyond the realms of possibility for me to whisper that to myself as I'm bringing back my shopping <laughs> from the car yes. absolutely brilliant well thank you so much for, for doing this interview uh, this not at all like thank me, you it was really meeting your, your kind of your childhood I know heroes. they say never meet your heroes Heroes, or even do a telephone interview with them. That's that's, that's the saying. That's, that's the saying. saying. They do have that. Little... That's the saying. Well, listen, I, I hope I hope it hasn't been a rip roaring and crashing disappointment. No, <laughs> been absolutely brilliant. You've been everything I thought you'd be. This like, has been oh, incredible. Well, listen, Thank, Thank you. you very much. And uh, listen, yeah, please uh, tell everyone um, it's never too late to watch Raven. You're never too old to watch Raven. And keep an eye out <laughs> on Jobs BBC for the, for the new series uh, coming kind of in the new year of 2018. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. And Fantastic. if you're really bored, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Oh, we will. Right after this, <laughs> we'll on it. Done my plugs. <laughs> <laughs>